Hi, welcome to my two minute takeaway. Today I'm going to look at my top tips for zero. These are my go-to for getting most out of zero. I'm going to have to be brief and I'll just touch on a couple of them, but here we go. I'm Hilary O'Dwyer, founder of Tuition Consulting, your virtual CFO. Okay, so my first cab off the rank is highlighting my favorite accounts in the dashboard. So I can get a snapshot of the things I need to know about all the time. So my top one is that I'm going to highlight, it's gonna be my GST account, my PAYG account for starters, and maybe my super account, because then I can see what I owe at any one time. I also like to highlight revenue, so we can see how much we're billing people, and so on. This is giving a real-time handle on what your figures are. You do it through the chart of accounts, it pops up on your, on your dashboard, it's brilliant. So that's number one. Number two is very, very basic, but so important, and you get a lot of benefits from it, is getting all your supplier invoices and receipts straight into zero. So the quickest way to do that is through HubDoc, which does all the data entry for you, and it pushes them all the way through. The key benefits of having this in zero is, number one, you are reconciling your bank pretty quickly for your receipts that you've already paid the money for. But number two, you can see what supplier invoices you owe and you can plan when you want to pay them. So this is key, this is leading into your cash flow, which I'm mad about, and it's really important to be able to schedule those cash payments. And you can do that through Zero by telling Zero when you plan to pay them so you can get a real clear view on what your cash outgoing is going to be over the next month or three months. It also gives you the facility by getting the invoices in in advance of creating an ABA file and uploading that straight to the bank and making batch payments rather than a million individual payments. So this is all about cutting down on key strokes and getting the most out of the software available to you and getting the information that you need and want as a business owner. So they're my top two to talk about. I'm going to do a blog where I get to unpack a few more because there's so many good things going on in Zero, but so many people don't have the time to really get do a deep dive on it. I hope you that, find that useful. Jump onto my website to have a look for the blog and I'll see you next time. Thanks.